Yeah, I lied to you, you cried to me. I ride for you, you ride for me. To be the man that you wanted, I tried. Really, really overwhelmed. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Hey. I am on a walk with Haku. I think we're going to head to a cafe really quick to study for a bit. Haku actually has a grooming appointment that we have to go to, so I don't want to like go home and then take him to grooming. So I'm just going to go to a cafe and then take him to his grooming appointment. And then while he's at the groomers, I am going to do an upper body workout today. So he actually like doesn't really need like a super big haircut ever, especially because it's winter time. I don't want his like coat to be like thin or anything. It's just mostly like trimming his like butt and his neck fur. They just get unproportionately long to his body and it gets really tangly and stuff. So I don't want him to mad up so often. So I'm just gonna trim it a bit. Last time I trimmed it, I don't think I have a photo, but it was really bad. I tried to do it myself. He's waiting for me to pick him up. <laughs> okay, okay. It is so hard to do upper body for me because my arms get so tired and it's really hard for me to feel the muscle I'm supposed to be working out because my arms feel so tired and I'm getting better at it. Like my arms are feeling less tired because I think I'm starting to like figure out like how to use the muscle I'm supposed to be using, like particularly my back, but work in progress. They did such a good job on his butt. He looks so cute. Okay, so I am going to make lunch. And these days I've just been making potatoes, eggs, and mushrooms because it's very simple. I don't like enjoy very complicated cooking. Maybe one day I will, but I'm just in the stage where I just wanna get this done and eat because I'm hungry. I will say I'm very excited because I got these new pans and look how cute they are. I know this is probably for like fried eggs or something, but I just like the shape a lot. So I got it. I like using this tiny little spatula. So I got these pans from this brand called Vika. Basically, I only had one pot and one pan and they were really big. So whenever I was cooking just for myself, it was just kind of annoying to use such a big pan. So I got this, these two like really small ones. I also got this one and it's a tiny little pot and I really like the color. They're also super nonstick which is nice. But I got them on Market Curly, which I didn't know. I thought they only sold groceries on there, but apparently they sell cookware. So if you guys are trying to like grocery shop and stuff, Market Curly has like a lot of options and you can just like order and it comes really fast, like next morning. Guys, I'm almost done cooking. He never comes in the kitchen, but these days, He's been getting a little brave. I caught you. Yes, I did. Brave boy. It's not that beautiful, but trust me, it's delicious. I just got back from walking Haku and also, I didn't cut my hair, it's just back here. And I ordered this Valentine's package from Sit Stay Love. 
and it comes with this. I think it's like a supplement for their skin. They did a collab with For All Dogs, which is another pretty popular bandana dog accessory brand. So it came with this cute cherry bandana. And then, isn't this so cute? So there are two dog cookies and this one is like a kimchi bottle and this one says we're for meant to be. And then it comes with little dog bone treats in the back. I'm gonna give him one right now. It's for Valentine's Day. It's my Valentine's Day gift to Haku. He is being so good. Wait, not touching a single treat. Good boy. Here, have a bone. It might be too big actually. It's really soft. You like it? <laughs> he always spits out his treats the first time he ever eats a treat. I'll let you have the big ones on Valentine's Day. You guys want to see a few tricks? All right, Haku, let's show them the fruits of our labor. Hold on. Ready? Boy. Good boy. Cool. Okay, boy. <laughs> These are just silly tricks that I taught him. High five. Nice. Hop. Other palm. Nice. Sit. Down. Good boy. He knows a couple more, but I don't want to get up. <laughs> Okay, I just went into Olive Young and I was trying to vlog in there, but like there's so many people in there and I always feel really, really overwhelmed. Like I don't really feel awkward vlogging in public until I go into Olive Young. I don't know why, because I think it's because it's very loud. The employees are very proactive, so they're just like constantly yelling like, oh, like if you need help, let me know. And then there's a lot of people and there's a lot of products. And I feel like I can't focus and vlog at the same time. I just get like really, really overwhelmed. Okay, so I feel a little better. I was feeling very overwhelmed at Olive Young. <laughs> I can't stop looking at my nails. They're so cute. Um, I'm gonna get ready because Jimmy and I are gonna go on like a very very late anniversary date because we were in Japan during our anniversary and then very quickly after Japan we had to go to China for um, to see his like grandparents. He wants to take me on a date tonight so I'm going to get ready. Okay, that took long. One thing I will say is I do feel like, why did I do that? I do feel like I used to have way more hair in America. Like I feel like my hair has really thinned out. Okay, I'm gonna try this cushion for the first time from Clio. It's in the shade linen. Ooh, this might be too light for me. <laughs> Going back to my trusty Blessed Moon shade. I wanna try out new compacts, but I get really nervous about getting the wrong shade and I hate returning things. I hate going back to the store and returning something. I always feel like I'm like offending the cashier because I'm telling them that I don't want this anymore. Even if it's just like an exchange for another shade, I'm also just lazy. But I do really, really like this Blessed Moon cushion. Problem is, is I don't think you can, or I don't know, can you get this in the US? I'll have to check later. I think it just makes my skin look really soft. And the packaging is really cute. This vlog has turned into a get ready with me. I don't know where me and Jimmy are going tonight. He just told me to dress nice. Oh my God, you know what song has been stuck in my head? It's one that's like, and it's over. And you're driving me home. Na, 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 na. I um, didn't have access to TikTok the whole time I was in China. Cause in China, I think it's called Doyen. So it was super weird to come back and just like see all of these new trends and stuff. Mm -hmm. Okay, 
I'm gonna stop talking about this because this is like really sad and it's not fun. Oh my God. Oh my God. Okay, you guys, are you watching Physical 100? So I was under the impression that this show was completed. So I like binge so many episodes just to find out that I'm not, it's not done. So now I have to wait week by week. I hate waiting week by week for episodes. It's like the one thing I don't like doing. That's why I'm like, really good about just staying away from spoilers if i really want to watch a show just stay away from spoilers and then just let all the episodes come out and then watch it all except for attack on titan oh my god okay i'm sorry i love this blush i just used it it's the lily by red one and number five but the mirror i took off the plastic thing and it's like this it's a really bad mirror anyways we're watching physical 100 oh so cute i wish jimmy was here so he could like Tell you guys about it but like right when we got done watching the first two episodes he went and signed up for a mma class he was he's just like so motivated to be a well-rounded strong like physically strong individual and for most of his life i feel like he's focused on like just being really strong in the sense like he can lift really heavy things and just having like a good physique and of course being good at sports like he loves sports but I think he's very inspired about the different types of like skills that you have to have physically for like all of these other kinds of sports. It was so cute. He just like went to his first class and he said basically like everybody kicked his ass in that class, which I've never really heard him say before. Cause I mean, you guys know Jimmy and seen him. He's like not, I mean, he's not a small dude. He's a big guy. So it's very fun for me to like watch him take on a very seriously difficult, like new physical challenge. I'm also kind of doing that. So I started being really consistent working out again. I wasn't, not because I didn't want to, but because we were traveling so much that every time I would start working out, like two weeks later, I'd have to leave again. So I'm very excited about that. Here are the three lip colors I got from Olive Young today. So there's this brand called Hints that I never heard of before. So I got two of these colors. One of them is like a really pinky color. The other one is more of a, kind of like a brownish, orangish color. And then I got this one from Amuse because I saw a lot of Korean influencers like being sponsored by this brand. So I wanted to try it. So I got this color because I don't really wear this kind of color a lot. So I wanted to get a different color. So tonight I'm wearing black. So I'm gonna go with this like a stronger color. All right, this, this is the Amuse gel fit tint in, it says 12 hour lasting. That is a big promise, my friend. This is in the shade number eight, Gorgeous Mauve. Okay, so this is definitely a lip color that you kind of have to layer, but I think it's good like for days where if you just want like a slight tint to your lip, you can just put a little layer on, but if you want like more poof of a color, then you should just put some more on. That's a really pretty color. I'm not usually into mauves. Also, the packaging is really cute. I also like how it's like flat. So when you twist, as I'm talking about how I like it, cause I can open this easily, I dropped it, but basically it's just easy to grab. You can like twist like this. That's what I like about the Rare Beauty blush is that this, you can just easy to grab this thing. Okay. I love curling my hair. I just feel like it makes me look like I have so much hair. Okay, I'm gonna change bear back. Jimmy and I come to this ice cream shop once in a while called Ice Cream Society. And it's funny because like before that I was telling him how there's not, I don't feel like there's a lot of ice cream shops in Korea. So this one is delicious. It's kind of expensive though. Yeah, it's like fun. It's like, it's like San Francisco pricing. But we got strawberry shortcake and Twix flavored. The Twix is super good. Do you like the strawberry? I think just threw it up because I wasn't expecting dark chocolate. I was expecting it to be taste like a little chocolate. The strawberry? No, the, the Twix. No, but I'm asking how the strawberry is. I love strawberry. I, mean, I really like fruit flavor. Not a fruit ice cream kind of girl. Yeah, I think I gravitate towards fruit. I just take my hand. 